Time for us to jump back into it and get a W after our late game letdown. In game 11 against the Chuckers, we lost a barn burner 44 to 45 on the last second shot by Keisha Phillips. If you check the, let's see if they have the game stats up still. They do. Um, our opponent were the Chuckers, obviously, so let me get them real quick. Um, but Keisha Phillips, check this out 31 points, only two rebounds. Uh, that, that's not what I meant to do. 31 points, only two rebounds, but six assists to go along with it. How many steals does she have? Let's get to it. Zero blocks. Five steals. That is a star studded performance, but highlight the 31 points there. Nothing better uh, and nothing bigger than her last second shot to beat us. So hopefully we can jump right back on the, the winning the winning ways we had the first 10 games of the season. I won up a couple close ones, so it was about time that I lost one. Uh, but now we'll be taking on the Ball Hogs, who we should be able to beat uh, as they're 1-10. And, and we're playing at home once again, thankfully. And I'm going to get my starting lineup get, uh, going again. Stretch is going to have to play. I know, he hasn't been performing very well. But I'm going to give him opportunities. going to keep giving him opportunities as we get into the playoffs. So Leo Wayne's big guard. Good ball handler, poor shooter, another poor shooter. So it looks like Fred Benson is going to be their only option shooting. Luan Louis is a beast ball handler. She's driving to the lane. She's like a Vicky Kaguchi. Why ain't she in there? Answer me that, Batman. Uh, and we're playing the jumping ball hogs, and their colors are pink. No wonder they're doing poorly right now. They are 1 in 10. The reverse of us, so we should be able to uh, make them look like a pig sty, I guess. And stretch gets the gets the tip. I actually Excuse me there. Sorry, I got uh, very interrupted by my computer. Just turned on my computer, and sometimes it likes to give me those Vicky. random security Woo! updates, and Vicky somehow gets the Easy rebound, money. and uh, I'll put that one back in and get two points there. Okay, and there again, the security update popped up. So two times in a row. Uh, that doesn't be, that's not going to be happening when you're watching an NBA game on the TV. You're, you're not going to be running to random security updates. So I apologize for that happening now. And Leo Wayne taking it to the hole, getting themselves two quick points as my computer freezes again. How lovely is this action here? I need to call timeout. There's no, there's no ambiance on the court either. I don't, I don't know what the deal is here. Excuse me, game. Can you, can you function with a normal speed? So stretch is actually faster than a person. Can I believe it? I'm still not believing it. As he's taking it to the hole, and he's probably going to get the ball stolen from him. Stretch. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Yep. Still I could have uh, smelt that from a mile away. And somehow I did not get the steal there. And Vicky Kaguchi puts the hand check on. Is that Fred Benson? I believe so. Kind of looks like Thor Herring, but thankfully he's not Thor Herring. Oh, get that block up. You ain't knocking that down. Hey, all right, so they get an easy bucket. And don't remind me of trying to block shots. I mean, Keisha Phillips, I blocked three of her shots. She got every single one back. What is the possibility of that happening once again? It better not happen. I better not be seeing the Chuckers in the playoffs because they got my number. I mean, I'm taking down the teams like the Sneakers and the Monsters, but somehow I'm losing to the Chuckmans. And I hate their I hate their mascot. It looks so ugly. Obviously, it's supposed to resemble a Chuck... Uh, uh, What's it called? A woodchuck, but uh, it just looks ugly. It's the weird fur on it. Not a fan, and it kind of made me queasy as I was playing them. So that's why I did so poorly. Not if I if I were to be um, putting the onus on that, I would have been a professional athlete. Because not that all of them don't take responsibility, but uh, I would say more than most of the population in the world, uh, they don't. So get a five-second rule. Come on. Big Kyoguchi stud defender. Oh, three fouls early in the game, so I might have to take her out here in a second. I'm not I'm not controlling you anymore, Big Kyoguchi. You're out of here. Oh, what a block. No. How about how about the block? It stretches all up in a grill. So uh, let's put Stephanie Morgan in there, and we're going to put Ahmed in for stretch. We need somewhat of a balanced lineup. We can't be having stretch and Ahmed both in the game at the same time. And we got the ambiance back, which is nice. 
Be smart with the ball. No need to pass. Take it to the rack. Put a slam a jamma down. Instead, she goes with the layup, and uh, I was a little bit concerned there. It was a two hand jump shot uh, right off the backboard. And that's a nice steal. Stephanie goes back up with it, and that's not even close. We got, we're got we following the heck out of these people. Is this UCF? No, our USC, excuse me, UCF. University of Central Florida. Yeah, what is this? UC Irrelevant. Get the steal. Oh, what a defender. Barry Larkin with the steal. Dish to Ahmed. Where's the between the legs layup that I saw in the intro movie? You, you be lying to me, Humongous Entertainment? You be tricking? Anyways, back to the real world. Uh, they got a slow team. That's one thing that you want to be able to take advantage of. Oh, who is that? Is that, um, forgot her name. And we're going back back and forth right now. And Ahmed, my leading assist getter, puts it up. And the foul. She's going to have the opportunity to get the three-point play here. And that's probably going to be off. Oh, no. Just in and knocks it down. And my all-around player comes through with a big three-point play to finish off this first quarter. Get the steal. Get the steal. You ain't going to be draining it. Half quarter. No good. Uh, you're a little bit late on the call there. Sunny day. It ain't so sunny in your eyes. You ain't be seen very well. So I'm going to put stretch in. No, I'm not. I'm going to leave the lineup I have right now because I felt a good group. Whoa. You be jumping. That's a travel. You can run the baseline only after a basket made, and that ain't a basket made. So Ahmed, put the hands up. Quit listening to the rock. Quit listening to a crazy train there. I know what you listen to. It's throwing you off the team game. It's telling you things you don't, you shouldn't believe in as a team player. Oh, Stephanie Morgan. Can't she get any better on the defensive end? And I want to get it to Ahmed Khan, but I just can't seem to pull that off. Instead, I go take it to the rack. And that's a rebound. Pat the stat total right there. It's like a back to you. Well, who did that dunk the other day? Bale McGee did it. And then somebody else. Uh, they got they uh, put up a shot off the backboard to themselves because they were in traffic and then they just dunked it home. I think it might have been against the Magic. I'm not sure who it was because the Magic have been cra utter, utter crap right now. I'm not a Magic fan or anything. Give me the ball, why don't you? Don't you step out of bounds. Thank you for not stepping out of bounds. And I'm going to get Ahmed some points here. I don't care if it takes me 26 seconds. Yeah, longer than the shot clock to get those points. Give me a pick. Give me a pick. Set the pick. Oh, oh. Cutting back to the middle. Oh, okay. That's why I don't go to Ahmed very often. See, that? that's when you, that's when you start to lose. When you try to get other people involved that shouldn't be involved. Just saying. Not saying. I'm just saying. And I'm going to score here with Stephanie. Um, and then I'm going to call a timeout here after I got a 13 point lead. Try to get some new people in. Hey, they ain't working. Oh, good foul. Good foul. Right on the sandy patch right there. I can, that's, that, that's hazardous. Watch out for the ACLs. Watch out for them ACLs. Oh. Going deep. The bomb. And I'm going to call a timeout now. Got about 127 here left in the, the half, so might as well switch a roo for you and I'm gonna put no I'm not gonna have yeah I'm gonna have Vicky's a little bit worse of a defender no they looks like they're the same uh, oh Vicky's even a better of a defender but I'm gonna stick with this lineup to finish it off do it the starting lineup to finish this half off I want to bury them to be honest with you I have no mercy for you ball hogs just in your name I don't like these humans that are ball hogs I like humans that take it to the hole when they have the opportunity to knock it in for three-point play See if he can hit a free throw. I don't know if he's hit a free throw yet this year. Yo. Right. Get control, and that one's short. Hey. That goes up. Stretch. Shake it off, man. Could it go in? I can't tell oh, if you're left-handed or right-handed with that terrible form you have. Do a little Victor uh, Gilbert Arenas um, pre-free throw um, routine there. You don't, you don't have it, though. You don't have it down because you ain't be shooting enough free throws. They might as well be doing hack a shack with you down low. If you can actually get separation from those that are guarding you down low. So I'm going to get it to Vicky. Why not? Go in the back. Give and go. Oh. Puts it up and not going to be able to knock down the three-point play. But does draw the foul and goes to the line now. Vicky with the first free throw up. And she knocks down the front end uh, for two shots. Second from the charity strike. And just as she did with the first, she banks this one home. So the banks are open here on Thursday. 
may not be a Thursday that you're watching this game. It's a Thursday when I'm recording this game. So deal with it. And what a steal by Stretch. Never would have thought I'd be seeing that. Stretch stealing the ball without fouling. Do I believe it? I don't think I do. And Jocinda puts one up mid-range. And is she going to get the roll? No, she's not. But that's not happening. I'm stealing it right back into your hands. So I could go for the hoop right now. But I'm going to dribble out the clock a little bit. Try to get to one of my underappreciated offensive threats. And it looks like the shot clock is the same as the game clock. And it looks like that stretch on all by himself. As they're going double team against Vicky. And I'm going to take advantage of this now. Dish it back out to stretch. He puts it up. And he knocks it in. So stretch actually hits a mid-range shot. The arc. The mid-range. The game. So that's uh, the midpoint of this game. We're shooting less uh, percentage than air. They only got four shots up. We've been stifling them defensively. Uh, they haven't been able to get anything going offensively. So we have a huge 21-point lead. And I'm going to put Ahmed in for stretch. Put Stephanie in there. And we'll go with our secondary lineup, I guess you would say. And I actually got the tip uh, at the beginning of the game. And that's... Gets I, I can take foul. that foul. That, I, I felt a fast break coming if I were to we get that steal. So. And I'm a DePaul basketball Look fan. It's one of my uh, college basketball team season ticket holder. They like to run the press. They run the press on every opportunity. every All times of the game. Every shot they make is followed by a uh, full court press. It's not very effective. Uh, the coach that the coaches DePaul uh, coached at Clemson at uh, Old Dominion and at uh, Dayton, and he turned the programs around with kind of a fast-paced, full-court press, uh, I'm going to run the court at all opportunities type game. And DePaul has great athletes, but they just don't play defense as a team should. They allow so many holes, and last year when they were playing UConn, the eventual national champions, they're in the Big East, DePaul is, they just got shredded up. It's like a wet paper bag the other team was running through. Just like I did against you, Ball Hogs. So we got a 23-point lead now. I think it's the biggest lead I've had yet this year. And Stephanie, easy does it. With a steal off the inbounds pass. And a layup. Oh, repete, please. Ditto. Stephanie Morgan knocking another short layup in after a steal. Can I, can I smell a what-what? No, no three. Swisseree, swisseroo for two. And then what's the three? If you go to like Chuck E. Cheese or something, what's that guy saying? Get he looks bored. I would be too. Look at this game. Oh, Utter blowout. Now if I let this get away, this you're going to have to put me in witness protection or something because I don't deserve to be ever that. playing this game again if I ever if I let this one get away. And I was pretty pissed against the uh, about the Chuckers like one. I had to uh, go to um, an obligation that's afterwards that's after that game, and I was I was pretty perturbed by my loss. I it took me a while to, to, to move on from it. Uh, I needed you know a good two hours, which it's not very long, obviously, and it's not a very traumatic thing that happened to me. Uh, but it wasn't a good thing, and I'm very competitive. So when little things like that happen to me, I get pretty pissed. But I was just impressed by Jocinda's ability. What the heck? What kind of three-point shot has that kind of touch on it? And then will roll around the rim off the backboard. None. That, you know what? I have the answer for you. No shot will. And that's a foul. Ryan Vanderhoek, you pushing him on his face? He's got a face mouthful of asphalt now. Gonna have to go to the doc, the dentist. So take Ahmed out. Might as well take Stephanie out. Uh, keep this line up. And that'll work for me. Uh, that's a really high pass you had there, my friend. So Luan Louis checks in. I'm scared. I'm scared. Luan Louis is a, is a good player. And are they taking her back out? No, they're bringing, they're bringing in... Did they bring in Jay Green? I don't know. I don't think they did. But Luan Louis is a Vicky Kawaguchi 2.0. Maybe not as, a good, as good of a defender. I haven't checked that out. But she definitely is fast. And she's just as good of an outside shooter. Vicky might be one, one, one point better. Um, but if you want someone very similar to uh, Vicky Kawaguchi, I'd check out Luan Louis. Yeah. And nope, not going to win that battle. Luan Louis pops it from outside. She knocks it in. So this could be a problem for me. I'm going to have to hold the ball a little bit more than I might uh, earlier in this game. But get it out to Vicky Kawaguchi, and that's going to set it up uh, for her. 
Vicky. And she's just flying down the court. Lays it up. What's she talking about? Come on, rap. Get it on get in. Stop. And I'm going to get this. That was an awful pass and an awful decision. Hands it up. And that's a good foul because they only have three seconds like now. They're going to have to get it in. Oh, he checks it up. There's no chance in the world that he hits rim. I don't even know. I mean, he has switched a couple from the mid-range, but uh, throughout the season, not been hitting rim too often. So I'm gonna go with this lineup. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep one of my guards out in case I need some assistance. So Ahmed's a little bit tuckered out. So I'm gonna go with this. Allow me to have Stephanie. You can do it, dude. Not as much in the front uh, or in the backcourt. So get out the stretch and this old matchup. Sorry, old Leo Wayne. Stretch is coming to the game. He lays it in for two, and that gets us into the 40-point watermark. What, what, what's this called? 14 and 41? There's a name for the backwards. A number backwards is the whatever, you know. Gosh, dang, I learned it a couple years ago. Cannot retain some information like that. Usually I'm a big fan of the random trivia. Not there, though, apparently. So get away from the way on the way. If there's one thing you've ever done in your life, Stretch, is get away from that girl. Oh, oh, that is pitiful. Frustration foul, and he actually has 10 points, which is utter, utterly surprising, to say the least. I think his point total before this was 6 or 8 or something like that. That was an almost a backcourt violation. That's what you get for one too many passes. Fred Benson, get off get off the foul trip. All right, you're done. You're done fouling for the day. You and Ryan Vanderhoek, go, go sit, take a seat on the pine with him over there. He's sitting by Jay Green that hasn't played at all. And Jay Green is like one of the best players in all backyard baseball 2001. Uh, and I believe 2003 as well for custom players that the computer makes. And that's a high lob looping pass. Somehow it makes it to Luan Louis. Stretch gets a steal off of Luan Louis. Um, I'm going to have to blink a couple times because I'm not sure if I believe that. And that's almost a ten uh, backcourt violation. Get it across though, and trying to get the ball to Stephanie here. Stephanie with the ball. Luan Louis, good good switch there. That's good defensive communication. Not much time left on the clock. Going with the runner. Rebound. Yeah, okay, looked good. Shot goes up. Oh. oh, okay. I see how it is. We're gonna play musical ball. Musical ball in the hands. That is a that's a shooting foul if I've ever Ready seen one. And that's five fouls. Get the heck out of there. So we're going to put uh, these two guys in. Might as well put those replacements in. Uh, get Stephanie at the point and Justin down low. Not too many people in foul trouble. I was concerned about Vicky getting those three early fouls, but she hasn't been in any, any trouble. Ryan Vanderhoek with five fouls, and I believe we're in the bonus now. First of the foul. Oh, frick. Got to knock these throws down. They're going to be key in the playoffs. Assuming we make it that far, and I believe we will. So she misses both, unfortunately. For all us Rim Rattler fans. I don't see how you could be a Ball Hog fan. So I'm going to try to get the assist, get it ahead to Ahmed. He gets a couple points for himself. So everybody's having a scoring field day today, and that doesn't usually happen. And I'm done with the substitutions. This ain't backyard soccer, where they sub every other stoppage in the play. Uh, that, that's, a, that's a bit of a lazy pass there, and it out rolls out of bounds. Bound. So, Ahmed, the opportunity for the assist doesn't come through Don't there. Are you, I'm done. There. Yeah, good question, Barry DJ. What's the deal with the, the uh, substitutions? What's the deal? Uh, that is a poor pass. Hands it up. Get a hold of yourself. Dishing it out like ice cream. Oh, that's a steal. Stephanie Morgan stealing candy from a baby. Apparently, there are a lot of babies on the court today. I was feeling the two-hand slam there, Ahmed, but I don't think you were. That mom looks very depressed. Assuming that's the mother. It's like a little balloon there. The face is like a... I don't even know. The darkest face I've ever seen. Uh, in Beckard, Beckard Sports, I didn't know they could make that tinge. I could see her being a nice Luan Louis when she grows up, though. Playing with that uh, beach ball right there. She's got it in her. That is an awesome ball. shot. Look at that. Just, just fixated on that uh, beach ball there. It's going to translate to the hoops. She wants to be a rim ladder when she grows up. Are you going to hold the ball or what? I want to get 50. Oh, it's going to have the opportunity. I'm going to have the opportunity. Can I have a jammer's repeat? No. Not All right, so I wasn't able to get to the magic number of 50. 
which I kind of view as 100 points for myself in a game. But I got 15 assists, which is more than usual. 12 steals, definitely dominated there, and the turnover battle allowed me to get this huge lead. So I had a humongous wipeout uh, after this game. This felt really good. I'm sure the Ball Hogs were upset because they knew I'd be an angry Rim Rattler coach after the loss against the Chuckers. So we get the huge 35-point win here. And let's see if I get some stats for uh, Stretch. No, I do not. Although, if you check the game statistics, everybody was almost in double figures. We got, we got three people in double figures uh, with um, just Stephanie leading the way with 14. Two rebounds for her as well. Uh, and only five minutes for Stretch and Vicky. That was being very efficient with Vicky, apparently. And we're going to check the assist column. Stephanie led the way as well. She's just playing an all-around game today. And we'll check out the steals. Did we get any blocks? No, that's unusual. Uh, and once again, plenty of steals, and Stretch actually got one. Scary. So we got a win against the Ball Hogs, and now we are going to be taking on three pointers for the first time who are in our division. I'm surprised we haven't played them, and I'm going to have to check out see how the Jammers did. The Jammers lost, so we have a five game lead here in our, uh, our Cactus division. So it looks like with six games left, if I'm going to have to win one more, and they're going to have to lose one more for me to have at least a tie so hopefully I'll be able to secure that tie in game 14 as we uh, come off a huge win into the ball hogs here in game 12 35 point victory hope you enjoyed it hope you enjoyed the smackdown I'll be seeing you guys next time we get some three pointers who are four and eight we're gonna keep them there see you then